Dr. Andy Galpin here, and we're back with 5-Minute Fizz. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about energy systems, and wanted to give you a quick way to help remember them. Now what you have to know to understand these are your macronutrients. All right, so for the most part what we're talking about here are carbohydrates, fat, and protein. Now protein is actually a minor player in the role of energy metabolism. We'll talk about what protein does later. So we're really concentrating on fat and carbohydrate. Now to make things actually easier, I like to think about phosphocreatine, or, or what some folks call PCR, the same thing that you get when you take creatine as a supplement. It's not truly a macronutrient, but I like to think of it that way. It's going to help you remember what they do. Now, if I said we're trying to create a fire, and we're trying to make some energy, and we've got three possible options, creatine, carbohydrate, or fat. Well, we've got some pros and cons to each one of these systems. And we'll start off with creatine. Imagine creatine is like our lovely um, matches here, and I prefer the uh, Lucky Kitty version, if you're wondering. So if I take a match here, and I hope this works so I don't have to take this again, and I were to light it on fire, ah, perfect, right? Well, the benefit of using a match to produce energy is that it lights almost immediately, right? Of course, the drawback is it only lasts a few seconds. Now, in that particular case, it literally lasted like one second, but if I were to turn this stupid wind off, right, and I was able to let this candle burn out until it all the way burned all the way back down, you're still talking maybe, I don't know what, 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds, so, something like that. Hi, Ghostface. So with phosphocreatine, the benefit is it's a quick burst of energy, but I've only got so much potential energy I can use, and it only lasts so long. Eventually, I'm going to run out of these fire sticks. Well, next up on our list is carbohydrate. Think of carbohydrate like a newspaper. What we have to understand here is actually fat and carbohydrate are molecularly very similar in the fact that they're just big, long chains of carbon. All right? uh, glucose or, or carbohydrate in that fashion actually is a six carbon chain, where fat is usually 18 to 20 or 30 carbons with a bunch stuck together. But my point is, if I were to use this newspaper here, and I try not to burn myself down or burn little ghost face, and I use this as energy without wind being around, I could light it still pretty easily, not as easy as a match. And how long would it take for me to burn this newspaper down? I don't know what, I, a minute, two minutes, something like that, three minutes? I don't know, something along the lines of a minute. So the benefit of the newspaper over top of the phosphocreatine is it lasts quite a bit longer, but we still have a pretty limited supply, right? Still lights pretty fast. And if we go further down our line, now we've got fat. So what's interesting is, remember how I said fat and carbohydrate are still two just big long chains of carbon? Well, it turns out, what's paper made out of? Wood, right? We make paper out of trees. So molecularly, these things are very, very, very similar. Well, the benefit of fat, or wood in this case, is I will have energy for days. Compared to my match and my newspaper, the fat will burn considerably longer. The downside is, though, it takes quite a bit of time for me to make this a usable energy. I would have to sit here, and if you've ever made a, a fire before, it takes you quite a while to get wood like this going. All right, so that's a quick and easy example of the benefits and the drawbacks of your energy systems. Creatine on this side is fast, but it burns out quickly. Carbohydrate. In the middle, it's pretty fast, but it's going to also burn out pretty quickly. And then fat comes at the very end. Now, in another video, I'll talk to you about protein, and we'll talk to you a little bit more about how we oxidize and metabolize these things, and how we talk about the aerobic and anaerobic conversions of carbohydrate and the aerobic conversions of fat. So that's it for now. Uh, any questions, let me know on social media, at Dr. Andy Galpin or andygalpin.com. If not, stick around. Come back for the 25 and 55-minute versions of the same talk.